Guys, early extension is a big problem. Today we're going to tackle it and it's going to change your golf game forever. Hey guys, Christo Garcia, My Swing Evolution. I've got an awesome video for you guys today. I am working on eliminating my early extension. This is always a habit. I've had it my whole life. It's come and gone through the years. And uh, my last video, you know, I, I had some nice swings, you know. So I want to give a shout out to my buddy Zero to Hero Golf who was on me. He's like, listen, man, your swing looks good. But if you could just get that early extension worked on a little bit, you know, you're going to be hitting the ball much better. And, uh, you know, so the last time I went out to the range, I was like, okay, let's, let's revisit this. Now, I didn't have this problem so much when Kelvin Miyahira compared me to Ben Hogan. In fact, I was clearing much better back then. And I think what happened was when I ruptured my Achilles tendon, I started using my legs less. Well, I went to the course, I started working on my squat and transition a little bit more, and all of a sudden it got much, much better. So it's crazy how that happens. But this is a big, big deal because when your pelvis and core stops rotating, it causes your arms and hands to fire a little early, which causes excess rotation of the club face. When you look at great ball strikers, they don't have that stall flip through impact. And that's a reason why they're great golfers. So I'm determined to work on this. I got to add this to the list, but it's not that big a deal. So I'm going to walk you through my last rain session. Now I'm working on my putting. I'm doing a 360 drill. It's just four pegs in the ground, three feet, four feet, five feet. And yesterday I added six feet. I'm a big believer in creating new patterns. So four days in a row I've done this and today's going to be the fifth day. You know, I added six feet yesterday and it was a little nerve wracking, but I'm becoming better at it. You get better at what you focus on. So if I focus on my short game and putting, I reward myself with the ball striking afterwards. That's what I did when I started my practice like a pro routine, which helped me to break par the first time several years ago. So I'm back at it. I want to be a better golfer. I hope you do too. Guys, if you go to myswingevolution.com and you sign up for a year of MSC TV, I'll send you a signed copy of the Hogan Code. I found a whole box of these DVDs in storage. I didn't know I had them. This is all the stuff that I used to rebuild my golf swing and be able to break par the first time. So I'd love to give that to you. Guys, follow me on Instagram. I've got great stuff. If you want up-to-the-minute details on what I'm practicing, go to Instagram. And also, if you like these videos, always click subscribe, hit a like, leave a comment. Guys, that means a lot to me. So let's get into this range session. I hope you hit them long and hit them straight. Okay, guys, so here I am out here ready to tackle my early extension. Now, here's a good swing from the day before. Nice ball. But when we slow it down, we see that I stand up through impact and get my hips underneath. Me. That's that's what I'm trying to fight because it causes me to flip the club head. But look at this three wood from my last session. You're going to see that I'm going to stay down longer and rotate much better with my hips. So this is the beginning of the session where I'm like, okay, I've had it. Let me see if I can, if I can get to this. And I'm just, I'm thinking about opening my hips, but that's never really done the trick for me too much. Um, what I wound up doing was working on actually loading into the ground in more of a squat and that allowed me to keep rotating my hips but here I'm just hitting these wedges to warm up doing my little little Hogan roll down through the ball which was pretty good hit it nice and crisp so like you can play good golf with early extension I've pointed out that Payne Stewart and Corey Pavin and even Jack Nicklaus had a little early extension. So here I am, I just move up to my hybrid straight away because I'm, I'm ready to start working on this EE problem. And then after I hit a few of these hybrids, I started to come up with the idea of remembering 
when I did the the squat work before and I was like Ho hold on a second what if I do more leveraging into the ground and all of a sudden that swing right there I was like wait that feels a little bit different so I'm like what what happened there I got to dig into this a little bit more and so what I realize is by squatting and having more flexion in my hips, all of a sudden it delayed my release of the club. I'm like, oh my God, I think I just had my eureka moment. So immediately I set the camera to slow motion to check it out. So as we can see, I didn't have a stall in my hips. So I have to show everybody what I'm doing here. So I'm squatting down and that allows me to press out of my left leg, which drives my left hip behind me a little bit more. You know, an inch is a mile in this game. And it feels weird. I, I'm not used to, to this, not quite sure where my low point is, but I want, I want to tackle this problem. You know, I don't feel like I'll be able to, to ever compete or do all these other things I want to do in golf until I feel comfortable with my technique. So here I am trying to work on keeping my hips deep, then squat and turn. So that wasn't bad. Again, I, I'm just not quite sure, you know, where my low point is. I got to get used to it. But again, this is the laboratory, you know, I'm going to get there. So here's a slow motion down the line. Much better rotation through the hip. And that's what I'm after. If I can get here, I think that I can play much more elite golf. Now I went back to this three wood here because I was feeling it. And when we slow this down, we can certainly see that I have much better rotation through the ball. I hope this helps you guys and I hope you hit them long and hit them straight. Hey everyone, this is Ben. Uh, I came down to the intensive from Utah and love it. Uh, I've learned quite a bit. Uh, I came for specific things that I really wanted to ask Christo. I've been watching him since since the beginning and there was a few things I really needed to dial in and uh, got him dialed in and we're gonna go play golf today so I highly recommend it. That is my buddy Ben. He's so awesome. Longtime subscriber that came out from Utah for the last MSC intensive and the next one is March 12th and 13th. That's my birthday weekend. My birthday is March 11th. So I'd love for you guys to come on out if you'd like to have a weekend of great golf. Hi, I'm Christo Garcia, the founder of My Swing Evolution. A few years back, I picked up Ben Hogan's Five Lessons book because I wanted to improve my golf game. Well, my golfing dreams came true. Today, I'm sponsored by the Ben Hogan Golf Company. I've shot under par many times, and I even had the chance to play Ben Hogan in a Golf Channel special. So in this series, I'm gonna take you through the most important lessons that I learned from Ben Hogan's famous book.